Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Mezzo64 here, and welcome to the first snapshot of Minecraft 1.14, the Village and Pillage update. It's here. It's been only a matter of four, th like three or four weeks since uh, Minecon. Well, it's been about five, and we have the first snapshot now. I'm super excited for all these changes. We'll get to those guys in the background later, but first, we're going to be going all the way around here. So, first we have different colored signs, and now the signs have white text instead of black to, you know, be able to fit the dark oak. I have nothing wrong with them. The oak sign looks the same. I do kind of, however, hate the jungle sign, but that's just because I hate the jungle log itself. But I do quite enjoy all the signs. They look really nice. I just don't know how I feel about the white text. Uh, next up, we have sandstone walls, brick walls, prismarine walls, and red sandstone walls. These are going to be great for building. I'm not quite sure how you're going to use red sandstone walls. I never really see people use red sandstone, but you can use that. Uh, now we have smooth sandstone stairs and smooth sandstone slabs. Again, kind of useful. And then we have these. I don't know why these weren't in the game to begin with, but you got mossy cobblestone slabs. You got mossy stone brick slabs and mossy stone brick uh, fences. Those are pretty good. Smooth sandstone stairs. It's about time. These were uh, actually teased in 1.13 when they were showing off the trident. If you looked in the background of like the weird place uh, one of the developers were standing in, you could actually see these. They're in the game now. You got stone brick walls and stone stairs. Well, and stone brick stairs, and stone brick slabs, and stone brick walls, diorite stuff, diorite stuff, andesite, no, granite stuff, polished granite stuff, andesite stuff, polished andesite stuff, red nether brick walls, red nether brick slabs, regular nether brick walls, red nether brick stairs, three new types of flowers. You got the wither flower, well, you got the wither rose, the corn flower, and the lily of the valley. These are going to be used to craft yourself some blue dye, black dye, and white dye, which you can also use bone meal, lapis, and ink to create these dyes, and cocoa will turn into brown dye. Pretty simple, but there's also a cool other thing you can do. And now if you do step on this flower in survival, you will get the wither effect as long as you stand on it, but as soon as you get off of it, you won't have the wither effect no longer. And now we'll get to this later, but if you grab yourself a bowl and some mushrooms, hang on, I set time today. And then you just craft yourself some mushroom stew, but you use one of these flowers, you get suspicious stew. Now, if I go into game mode survival, if I were to give myself hunger, Hunger. I'm gonna jump a little, a little bit. If I just get my hunger down, I am on hard, right? Yeah, I'm on hard. If I just get my hunger down a little bit, don't want that guy to see me. Come on, hunger. It's not taking down my. Oh gosh. Maybe it'll be good if he does hit me though. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. The wither flower just gave me the wither. Okay, there we go. The suspicious stew. If I eat this suspicious stew, it poisons you. And they have a new image for poison, so the lily of the valley will poison you. Which, to be honest, isn't that fun. But, you go into here, craft another one. But with the blue flower, and you eat it, you get jump boost and there's a new image for jump boost you get jump boost and higher saturation than a golden carrot which is very good like it's beyond good and then if you take these and put the wither rose in there you get another suspicious stew and when you eat this when you eat this okay you can eat the other ones I forgot this one gives you regeneration so you have to be hit so Let's try to eat this. 
currently not working. Okay, let's eat. And we get the wither effect. It withers you for six seconds. So those are the new stews. If you ever wanted to know about those. That's a thing now. And now this thing I don't know how it works. All I know is that you put it in you put in a banner, the die, and then a banner banner powder thing and you can keep that banner powder forever. That's all that adds. But then we have this monstrous item called the crossbow. Now, the crossbow comes in three enchantments. Piercing, quick charge, and multi-shot. Piercing, as you can see, all these creepers here, if you pull it back, it goes through different mobs. Like, I can aim right at this one, I will hit multiple ones. If I aim right at this guy right here, I will hit multiple creepers. They think they can hide? They can't. I can hit through multiple creepers at one time. That's what piercing does. Now, if I get myself... If I get myself quick charge, it just pulls back faster. There's nothing really special about quick charge. But multi-shot will shoot three arrows at once. So, if I do this, three arrows. Perfect. Now, this guy is known as the Pillager. Pillager carries a crossbow. Doesn't spawn naturally. And, yeah, he's very beautiful. Has a crossbow. And this is the Pillager Beast. These guys will kill villagers and eventually will spawn on their own. But as of right now, they do not spawn unless you have a spawn egg. And it can only be found in creative. The, this guy drops a saddle and this guy drops an emerald and bows and crossbows. Now, crossbows are actually better than bows, so you're going to want to want those. And then we have one last mob that we need to show off. You got the panda. Now, these guys are already in bedrock, so I already know how they work. They come in so many different kinds. Lazy pandas, good pandas, angry pandas, all different types of pandas. And they will spawn in this new biome that's right next to me. Sorry about the lag. Called the Bamboo Forest. The Bamboo Forest will be combined with jungles, and they spawn with Podzol and Bamboo up to max height, which is 16, I believe. And you got all these pandas, and pandas will breed if you give them Bamboo. If you give them bamboo naturally, they will breed, but you can also drop bamboo and they will pick it up, I believe. Yes, they will pick up the bamboo and they will eat it. So, that's about it for this uh, Minecraft update so far. Uh, I think it's one of the best updates we're getting in a while. It's, so far, not proving as good as uh, Update Aquatic. I still think that was one of the best updates to Minecraft in general, but I still really do enjoy this update and this snapshot so far. I can't wait to see what else they're going to add. Uh, oh, oh, baby pandas just sneezed. That's the thing they do. They will make other pandas jump. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. Helps out me. Helps out me. Helps me out. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.